What's up guys, Sans7 here, and I've got a guild for you. It's the White Knights. Now, Hirsch is running the White Knights, and I gotta say, this is probably the first guild that I've seen that is as well organized, large guild as Shenra is. Now, I wouldn't say it's Shenra, but hey, they're, st they're still looking pretty good, no doubt about it. They, they run contests where they got one going on right now for shard donations. One little perk they do have there, which is pretty cool, is they have basically their flags on, where they get 25% of gold and mana bonus. That, I like that. that. That's pretty cool right there. Now, they do the boss fights on weekdays at 10, weekends at 4. They're also expanding to a European guild. Now, when I, I when the Hearst asked me about that, I was like, I don't know, that's pretty crazy. And I started thinking about it as well organized as a guild as he has. Yeah, you can run it. I mean, he's got the logistical capabilities of doing that. So, that's another thing. Um, I will leave the forum links for his guild for the European expansion. I'll leave it in the description. Go check it out for more details on what you need to get into the guild. But I can tell you real quick, it's 10,000 might or heroes of 80 plus. But here, check this guy's out. Oh, yeah, he is. I rolled an Atlanta core on my smurf today. I had just the gems added up from, you know, your daily bonuses. I just finished raiding. I was like, oh, I got gems. Oh, it's 150. Let's go ahead and turn the screen recorder and see what we get. And boom. Hit him. So now I got four of my five legendaries. I'm still farming for Druid. I have 518 shards, so I've got a little ways to go, a little less than 1,300, but I was delayed a little bit with the account stuff going on, so still getting there. Now, the defense you see, nah, I'm playing with it. It could be better. All right, now, what I want you to do here is watch how many swings it takes Thunder God to break through the wall. This is testing Fervor. Fervor works on heroes, guys. If you can see one, two, three, that's boring, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the fifteenth one breaks it. Now, it will break it between fourteen and fifteen simply because of the random damage with his proc, but as soon as you throw fervor on there, it's gonna go from fourteen or fifteen down to I think it's 12, but we'll count, we'll find out, because you notice that I'm not bringing in Druid, because I don't want any of the Energetic to boost him, there are no boosts, there's no other magics other than the Fervor going on, so we're going to drop him, we're going to get that Fervor in before he swings first, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, it breaks it on 11 and you can see that he is in there he is on top of that magic tower swinging away all right there's my grizzly reaper what does the lock do well i'm going to hit this lock and when you hit that lock and you go back to another hero say pumpkin duke and then you hit consume what it's going to do is prevent that reaper from being there so you don't accidentally consume him and it's kind of nice when you have a hero altar that's just full of heroes like mine now someone hijacks your account yeah it's not really going to help there also, you're going to notice, oh, that's not, what? Is that my defense? Yes, I changed my defense. And, oh, we've got a few seconds before I can do the Hairby Monsters. But this is Konsetsu's defense. And what I'm doing right here is I'm setting up my troops for the Guild Wars competition we have going on in Shenra that's coming soon. Those are the troop types. I love to run the combination of Dragon and Omnithopters. So let's go ahead and get those set up. And let's go ahead and get in here. And this is basically a circle-type defense. And if you do have garrisons on there what it's going to do is really be pegging those heroes because of course the ordinaries give you range and they target the heroes but with this well i'm really just trying to maximize xp can i do g with limited garrisons on this setup that's the big question because you know my percentage of doing with the old defense is pretty good you know can i do it with this one i don't know we'll find out well the first one looks pretty good as soon as i finish running around they get in the middle my heroes take care of business you can see they target the tower as usual because you want to use your towers as tanks now this one i'm a little trouble because succubus did proc on that right tower the last time and i'm thinking okay well that tower is going to go down quick i'm going to grab aggro but i've got thunder god and he slows those heroes up for me which is just brilliant and then pumpkin duke he's all revited up he's going to go off now i'm going to start taking a little bit of aggro because that tower had basically zero health but that's okay when pumpkin duke goes off it's all good now it looks like everybody's all read it revited up and ready for g3 now i gotta say um i was a little nervous when they kept spawning over here i was like damn i only had one chance and i didn't want to wait three hours to do a video to show this you know or have a fail in the video but if it would have been a fail it would have been a fail and you can see right here they're going to get that tower but that's okay thunder god's going to say get the fuck out 
Ah, you gotta love Thunder God. The combination of Pumpkin Duke and Thunder God in Here Be Monsters is absolutely phenomenal. If you want to get up to these high waves, that's the combination you need. Now they're going to come in on this side, and you see I actually did use Hero Traps. They actually work pretty well, guys. I'm just usually too lazy to use them. You can see, as usual, they're targeting that tower first, giving my heroes a chance to celebrate, and then combined with Thunder God's proc, bye-bye. And then we got one more wave. All we have to do is get through this, and we're going to grab those shards. We're going to grab some experience, and we'll see. Maybe some gold, maybe some mana. But Ninja coming in on the bottom, and there's that hero trap. Celebrate goes off, and then you can see all my heroes just going nuts. That tower's going to go down pretty quick, but that's all right, because Thunder God's going to proc, and then from there it's just over. It looks like Pumpkin Duke proc twice before he died, giving that double buff to Celebrate, and... Oh, mana? Really? I didn't even look at what I got the last time, but when I actually did this, I hate mana. I'll take anything but mana. Gold is fine. I can always use gold, but mana? Eh, no good. And, well, there's the defense from, uh, you know, high up angle, and I gotta say, I love it. It's very, very symmetrical. That's one of the things I've always loved Kinzetsu's designs, and I'm just going to go through a few of the old designs. Now, this is um, Prestine, and I probably can't pronounce it still. I'm just going to call her Cat from now on. All right, but this one's so cool. I've always loved this base. I'm just going through a few of the old bases um, of cons and cats that are just have been awesome. I've always loved that one, the Budweiser one. Come on now. got to love that one. That's the one she's running right now. Just a really cool-looking base on. She probably does the most artistic bases in all of Castle Clash. Now, this is some of Khan's older stuff. i got to say, I loved... We Khan and I kind of like a rivalry of raiding each other, fighting each other in the arena, and I remember this is uh, probably my favorite base of his all time, and this was actually in a video. I've already shown this in a previous video. Most of you haven't seen it. It's a much, much older video, but you can see the first time I tried to come in and raid on the top, and I got eaten alive. I tried to get all cute by splitting the heroes, using using some phoenix and yeah not happening on that base you can see all the grave markers where my troops are dead I was like damn that was no good i'm gonna have to try that again and well this time instead of going in the top side um, I decided, okay, let's just drop everything on the bottom. Now, one of the mistakes I made on this one, and it's something that I've learned to do, is time my celebrate with my frenzy so everybody gets that full nine seconds of the double buff. And in this one, you can see I dropped the frenzy right away before my th before my pumpkin duke is going because he doesn't celebrate until right. Actually, he didn't even celebrate. You see, I didn't even get the celebrate from Pumpkin Duke. Made a mistake there. Luckily, I was using, you know, 200,000 in magic with the snowstorm, and that's what's going to get me through this. But, all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to give a shout-out to um, Hirsch's Guild, White Knights. Good place to go. And the next video, guys, is going to be the Let's Play on the Smurf. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Sand7 out.